Hello everyone, Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl. Welcome back. And if you are new, thanks for checking out my channel. Please hit subscribe and stick around. Today I am doing a book haul revisit for the month of April. This is where I will be taking a look back at the books that I hauled in April 2021 and 2022. And I will let you know if I've read any of the books, um, if any of the books are still on my radar, and if any of the books have been kind of forgotten. So I'm going to start by looking back at my April 2021 haul. I hauled 11 books and when I did my book haul revisit in 2022 I had read four of them uh, leaving seven more to read and this is in some ways very easy because nothing has changed. I have still only read those four and I still have seven more to read. So what I'm going to do is I will leave links below of the original haul and of the haul revisit last year um, because it's all basically still the same story and um, I will say that there are still a few of the books from this haul that are a high priority for me um, beginning with A Perfect Likeness by Richard Wagamese. If you've been around my channel for I would say any length of time then you probably already know that Richard Wagamese is one of my all-time favorite authors. Um, I'm slowly getting through his works. And then I have two short story collections that I would really like to get to. One is Blackberries, Blackberries by Crystal Wilkinson, and the other is The Corpse Exhibition and Other Stories of Iraq by Hassan Blassam. And I'm actually surprised I haven't read these yet. Um, and then a book that I almost picked up this month um, and then ended up reading a different one. You know how that goes. Uh, it's When the Stars Go Dark by Paula McLean. So this one is definitely on my radar and almost, almost made it into the read pile. So hopefully that will still happen soon. And then the other book that is still on my radar and I hope to read soon is The Dictionary of Lost Words by Pip Williams. I am very intrigued by this story. So still seven more to read from my 2021 book haul. Hopefully the next time I visit this haul, I will have read more. That's the plan. Now let's take a look um, back at my April 2022 book haul. I hauled 12 books, so one more than my 2021 haul, and I've only read three of them, so one less than from my 2021 haul. Um, and two of the books I actually just happened to read this month. It just happened that way. So I haven't even uh, talked about them at all other than the haul. So that still leaves nine books left to read. And I am happy to say that most of them are still on my radar. So the first book that I read was a buddy read with my friends AJ from AJ Dunn Reads and Writes and Shelley from Shelley Swearingen's Library. We read Piranesi by Susanna Clark, and I didn't love it as much as AJ and Shelley did, but I did appreciate the world building and I loved the main character. Fantasy, some of you already know this, it's a tricky one for me, and I try it once in a while because I do find a gem every now and again, um, but I will still read more from this author, I think. Now the next two books I've read, and I read them this month, and I gave both of them five stars. The first is Nothing to See Here by Kevin Wilson, which I just thought was a delightful read. And I will be talking more about this uh, in my April wrap up, so coming up fairly soon. And then the other five star book was a book that I picked up because of Leo Bancroft, who I will link uh, below. So Leo hasn't been doing too many um, videos recently, but I think we'll be back and it's still definitely worth uh, checking out. So Leo recommended Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. And this book had a number of things that I loved about it. I enjoyed the characters. They felt real to me. There's, um, there's some humor and I just, I thought the writing was really great. It was pretty good. Um, so again, I will talk more about this when I do my April wrap up. So this still leaves nine books to read from this haul. And I'm happy to say that almost all of these are, uh, still on my radar at varying degrees, but have just been, you know, put aside for 
other books. So I will go through these quickly um, as well. So first up is Anne of Manhattan by Brina Starler. Uh, many of you already know that I am a huge fan of Anne of Green Gables. I am uh, also a huge fan of New York. So this book is a bit of a retelling of Anne of Green Gables, New York style. So I'm very excited to get to this and see how, how this goes. Um, next up is Mallory by Josh Mailerman. This is the sequel to Bird Box, which I really, really liked. And I almost picked this up a few times already. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing where this story goes because I, I thought that Bird Box, the ending of Bird Box was beautiful. Um, so we will see what this has in store. Um, this next book is one that I was so excited to read when it first came out, and that's a little bit ago now, um, and that is The Beguiling by Susie Gardner. Um, this book is intriguing to me. It is about a woman named Lucy who people start telling their confessions to, and she seems to kind of get obsessed by this, and I really want to get to this soon. Uh, next up is another author. I just realized I grabbed the wrong book. Um, I have a few of their books and still haven't read any of them. So the one that I actually want to read is The Samurai's Garden, and it's by Gail Sukiyama. Um, so this is an author that I really want to read, and I've heard so many good things about um, that book as well as this one. Um, the other book, I'll put the picture up of the correct one, it takes place in Japan in 1930s. And the main character is Stephen, and he is sent to his family's summer home to recover from tuberculosis. And while he's there, he meets a master gardener, and it is all about what he learns from the gardener um, and just how he grows as a person. And I have a feeling that this is going to be a beautiful book. These next books are still on my radar, but are not quite as high up the TBR. Uh, the first is Return to Solitude by Grant Lawrence. This is a memoir that takes place in BC's Sunshine Coast, and it is about Grant's life as a husband and a father. This is his second memoir, and I haven't read the first one yet, but I, I don't think you need to, at least I hope not, because I do hope to read this. Um, and then the next book is another one that I've almost picked up a couple of times, and that is Good Mom on Paper which is, this is edited by Stacey Mae Fowles and Jen Sukfong Lee. Um, this is a collection of 20 essays about motherhood and they are about, or they are by some authors that I already know and love. So I do really want to read this. Next is Bystander by Mike Steves. Um, this book sounds like it just might be quirky and I like quirky. Uh, the main character, Peter, gets involved with uh, some of the things that are going on in his apartment and with his neighbors. So I'm looking forward to this one as well. And oh, I forgot to grab another one. Okay, I'll put a picture up of this one as well. That's Remnants by Celine um, Heigbert, I think it is, translated by Alicia Jensen. I see it right now sitting on my shelf over there. Um, anyway, this is a book about a father-daughter relationship. Um, and I believe it's strongly based on Celine's relationship with her own father. Um, and I am most interested in the structure of this book because it uses photos and dreams and questionnaires and other remnants, I guess, to tell the story. Um, and then last but not least on my list is a book that did kind of fall off the radar. And that is Blue Woman by Jonathan Page. I actually, I love this cover. And I think I will really like this book when I do get to it. This is a fictionalized story of the Welsh painter Rose Hartwood, who I know next to nothing about, um, other than there's this book about her. <laughs> but I'm hoping that this will be a good story and I'm looking forward to learning about her. So that is a look back at my April book hauls. I hauled 23 books altogether. I've only read seven. Uh, so I still have 16 to go, so still quite a bit of work to do. Um, so hopefully I can get to some of these sooner rather than later. I feel like I say that every time. Um, please let me know if you have read any of these books or if you are interested in reading any of them. 
Um, I'm especially interested if you've read any of the books that I haven't. Um, that way, you know, if there are some books that you think I should prioritize, please let me know. Um, I'm definitely interested in your thoughts and I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to make every day an adventure. Thank you.